two people are in custody after an armed robbery in Warren, and it prompted a manhunt in Sterling Heights. The robbery happened around midnight near Fraso and Mound, and we're told that two people robbed someone that they knew before taking off and fleeing towards Sterling Heights. Police believe that one of the men was armed with an AK-47. One person was taken into custody very early this morning. The other was the, well, the result of a manhunt and arrested a short time later. Today, the Michigan State Police Director was in Lansing answering questions about what are these issues with the breathalyzer testing state police have been using after possible fraud by a vendor that was servicing those breathalyzers. Colonel Joe Gasper confirmed that there had been discrepancies found in eight of 203 alcohol testing machines used here in Michigan and potent ally affected 52 suspected drunk driving cases statewide. Earlier this week, state police suspended ties with that vendor and now are only using blood draws in DUI cases for now. And it is back to court as the case of this toxic green chemical substance in Madison Heights continues. The city of Madison Heights is working to figure out how the now condemned building where the chemicals were stored can be safely demolished. Witnesses say that the building is unstable and not safe. The city wants Gary Sayers, the owner, to pay for the demolition. Prosecutors want the judge to visit the site, but no ruling on that has been made.